Having a new baby is a big life event. It can be stressful, especially right now in the midst of a pandemic. Tonight, Tammy Tremblay looks at how moms are adapting to a major change during COVID-19. It feels like the world's closing in at times. KTVB meteorologist Bree Eggers is on maternity leave right now. She says a second time around has been more challenging. This is not the world I imagined I'd be raising my babies in. Yeah. I thought I'd go with, uh, with my friends out on stroller walks and I'd wear my baby to Kohl's to pick up the, the cute outfits and the whatever. And yeah, it's just not the case. <laughs> and it was rough even before this cutie was born. So we had our first ultrasound where Sean could come with me and he got to listen to the heartbeat and then he could not come to any other appointment. And I think that's the saddest thing about being pregnant through all of this, especially for first time moms, is that I have to go alone. Mommy has to go alone to every appointment. This is a picture of Sean, Bree's husband, waiting in the car during one of those important checkups. He spent two hours in the car playing with Charlie's sticker book while I was in my 20 week scan. Now that Colby has officially arrived, a lot of anxiety comes too, especially during a pandemic when there's a big feeling of isolation. As if being a new parent or having a new baby is, is hard enough as it is, you're adding in so much extra worry. The top three things I'm hearing are one, um, not being able to have enough in-person visits for perinatal care, um, you know, and then back and forth on whether or not your partner can attend those or a family member can attend with you. Um, not having the big family celebration at the birth, right? Only one person can come in. Um, and then that, like you said, the isolation frustration can't, you know, really have play dates or go and do the things that you're hoping to do. And, you know, the biggest thing we do not want moms to be is isolated. Trista Kovac is a perinatal counselor at St. Alphonsus. She helps new moms find ways to manage their added stress. And she says even before COVID-19, the number of moms in distress was alarming. So pre-pandemic rates of depression and anxiety were about 15 to 20 percent. And some studies, there was actually one done um, out of Harvard. They surveyed 7,500 women over 10 days in 68 countries and found that women are experiencing clinically significant depression and anxiety at 70%. We're talking a huge leap. It's shedding light on how serious it was prior to the pandemic and how um, undertreated and under-resourced it's already been. Trista does have some advice for new moms having a rough time right now. Being at home, change your thinking a little bit. Um, like I said, when you're focused on what you can't do, it feels really bad. So take a minute to, um, you know, switch your environment, walk into a different room, take a deep breath. Um, baby cuddles are an interesting and well-researched. It releases oxytocin in your body, which makes you feel good. So cuddle your baby. If you have a crying baby, put baby down, right? Take a minute and breathe and come back to it. And don't forget to take care of yourself. That self-care piece is really just so big, and I know people are tired of hearing that, but if it's ever been more important, it is now. So we are really advocating for, you know, really paying attention to basics, making sure that you are looking at your sleep, that you are getting food and hydration on board, um, but that you're moving your body. What's worked for you? Getting outside, absolutely. Find ways to, to put baby down at times to, paint your toenails or just take a shower, a hot shower for a long time and um, put on a face mask. Actually, that is something I've been doing like two to three times a week is once the kids are down for bed, I put on a face mask because that's just my time, just for a second. Most importantly though, Bree says, be aware of your emotions. She watches hers closely. As someone who struggles with anxiety and depression, without the postpartum stuff being tacked onto on top of it, we have been very, very careful, cautious, and aware of signs and symptoms and trying to curb that and get it before it becomes a bigger issue. In Boise, Tammy Tremblay, Idaho's News Channel 7. Oh, Tammy, what a great story. And Bree, 
Thank you for your openness. I, I know when so many moms hear your story, they're gonna go, oh, okay, it's not just me, I'm not alone, because boy, as a new mom, you can feel awfully alone, but hearing your story, they know they're not, they're not the only ones struggling. So Bree, thank you for being so open and sharing that. By the way, the Boise Family Center has a lot of resources for new moms, like virtual new mom groups and counseling, and we have all of that information in this story on ktvb.com. Just find the Hello Idaho tab. And by the way, Bree, we can't wait for you to be back. She'll be back in just a couple of weeks to bring you the weather right here on KTVB.